सो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस विद यू द मोस्ट आस्क क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम मी नाउ डेज एंड दैट यू कैन सी ऑन द स्क्रीन दैट इज इज पावर बी आई आउटडेटेड और नॉट यूज मच सो दिस इज अ वेरी कॉमन क्वेश्चन दैट इज कमिंग टू द माइंड ऑफ पीपल ड्यू टू द करेंट सिचुएशन नाउ डेज सो लेट एस प्रोसीड विद माई थॉट्स ऑर दिस and before that if you are new to the channel watching the video first time on this channel then do subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos okay first of all let us understand when a technology or a tool becomes outdated or obsolete so this happens once we have a competitor in the same technology which apart from the common benefits provides some attractive additional benefits which the existing one does not give or give it at some price which is usually high and this you can easily understand from an example which i will give you now so you might have heard about google hangouts which was used earlier right through which you could connect one to one or in a group either personally or professionally right but when competitors like microsoft teams or zoom came the use of hangouts which is upgraded to google chats now started decreasing why because these platforms either zoom or teams are providing more services more benefits more reach which google hangout couldn't provide right okay so this is how a tool or a technology becomes outdated so i hope why and when something becomes outdated is clear to you now now i will talk about microsoft power bi why it is not outdated yes you heard it right it is not outdated and i will show you different statistics which would prove my point and hence you will get the right information so before showing some graphs in front of you i would like to bring few essential business intelligence facts in front of you okay so the first one is the global business intelligence market was valued at dollar 8.8 billion in 2020 dollar 8.8 billion in 2020 and the same when it was valued in 2021 it was around dollar 24.05 billion okay so you saw this exponential rise from dollar 8 billion to dollar 24 billion exponential rise right so this is one of the facts that i would like to share with you the second one is the global business intelligence adoption rate is 26% okay which was very low during the earlier years okay the next thing is 52% of software companies and 50% of finance companies use bi tools for their business decisions okay so so businesses using business intelligence are five times more likely to reach faster decisions than those do not okay so these were the few facts that i wanted to bring in front of you now let me show you one graph where i will tell you the number of companies that are using microsoft power bi all around the world as per their employee count okay so let me take you to that graph so and as you can see here the number of companies using microsoft power bi having employee count between 500 to 1000 is 6202 that means 6202 companies are there all over the world which uses microsoft power bi having employee count between 500 to 1000 similarly you can see the other stats right between uh, 1000 to 5000 the number of companies using microsoft power bi is 8865 similarly over 10000 employees the companies having employee count over 10000 3737 companies are there which are using microsoft power bi so, so you can see here the count of the number of companies using microsoft power bi is very huge right as you can see from the graph so this is what i wanted to show you through this graph now let me take you to another graph which will also help in proving my point okay so, so that chart is this so you can see here this is the market share chart as you can see here i have different business intelligence tools here first one is microsoft power bi then i have tableau then clicksense then sap analytics cloud ibm cognos analytics looker micro strategy sysense oracle analytics service server okay so you can clearly see here the market share of microsoft power bi is around 36% okay 36% is the overall market share of power bi and this percentage will be increasing more in the coming time 
okay the next one is tableau which is around 20% then clicksense which is around 11% then the other tools like sap analytics cloud around 11 around 7 ibm around 6 looker around 6 around 5 micro strategy okay so overall power bi is the only one which is having large market capitalization earlier tableau was the one who was capitalizing the market but after the introduction of microsoft power bi power bi is leading the market which you can easily see on this screen and even the companies which are using tableau currently are also shifting to microsoft power bi why because of additional benefits that power bi provides because of its low cost structure because it is very user friendly because it can handle large amount of data and many more okay so this graph gives you the right picture or the right information that is there currently in the market okay now let me take you to the third graph which will conclude my point that yes power bi is not outdated okay so this is the gartner report of 2022 so as you can see here as of january 20, 2022 microsoft is the one which is leading the market okay and you can see there is a huge gap between tableau and microsoft okay so that's why i was saying if something has to become obsolete there has to be a competitor which is similar to that technology or tool and here you can clearly see here nobody is even closer to microsoft okay so that's why you can assume that for the next at least five years microsoft power bi will lead the market in business intelligence and i can easily predict in the upcoming report of 2023 january 2023 of gartner microsoft will again lead the market okay so through these points or graphs you might have understood till now that microsoft power bi is not outdated and will remain at top in the next five years at least now what is happening nowadays is since people are not getting the calls for power bi they are correlating this with this statement that power bi is becoming outdated no that is completely wrong so if you are not getting the interview calls the factors behind that are different and this is not impacting the usage of microsoft power bi in the market okay so now what you should do in the current scenario okay so many of you have this question in your mind nowadays so so if you are a fresher what you should do right now as a fresher you should keep applying whatever opportunities are available you should keep applying at the same time you should add more skills along with power bi in your resume okay you should not just restrict yourself to learn power bi okay learning power bi is must you should have a proper knowledge on power bi that is a prerequisite okay but in addition to that add some more skills for example you can add uh, power automate you can add power apps you can add azure data factory you can learn uh, sql server analysis services tabular model that is ssas so you can learn and add all these skills along with power bi and and then ultimately in the coming time you will definitely have the edge over others if you will have these skills also along with power bi okay what about experienced people so for experienced people i would recommend to just be there in the same companies don't switch right now wait for at least two to three months okay let's see what happens after three months nobody can predict what will happen in the future but let's wait for two to three months and then only you can think about switching your job right now just stick with your company whatever skills you have just have more expertise over there okay and wait for the right time to switch okay so if you're preparing for the data analyst power bi interviews you can definitely check out this channel i have already uploaded a lot of videos which can really help you to crack the interview many people have already taken advantage of this channel now it's a time for you to take its advantage so that's it for this video please share the video to all your friends and colleagues whoever are in need of this and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you